We're in the dark times now, people. After the abstract failure of the Doc 2 TV movie, it looked very unlikely that Doc 2 was ever going to get another TV production. For nine long years, Doc 2 had nothing on TV. Far the odd children need special here and there. But over 40 years after the show began, in 2003, it was announced that Doctor would finally be coming back to our TV screens. Not only was it coming back, but it was seriously coming back, with a considerably higher budget, and more importantly than that, much better writers. This was a genuine shock to any fan at the time, and was definitely a welcomed one. To talk about myself a little bit, I was five years old when the show came back, and I've been watching it ever since then. So it made a massive fan out of me. Since then, five people have played the title role, with seven people in total playing the character of the Doctor. And the show has now surpassed over 15 years of being back on the air, which is incredible. In that time, you'd imagine there'd be a few scripts that have fell through the cracks. And this time, not so much. Now, don't get me wrong, there are probably a number of scripts that got rejected for this series, but a very small number are actually known to the public. Even a lot of the listed unmade episodes are just earlier drafts of episodes that ended up getting made anyway. So in order to make a substantial enough video, I've had to clump the entirety of New Who together, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe I'll come back to it in a future video. So this is going to look from Chris Freckleson's era all the way up to Jodie's era, and anything I can find will be documented in this video. Okay, so gathering information about this was incredibly hard, and I'm not particularly fond of any of the episodes I've found, but I can't say they're not interesting. So the first episode I'm going to talk about is an episode called Century House, which is going to be written by Thomas McRae. And this episode was said to be replaced by either Midnight or Unicorn and the Wasp. Now, I like both those stories, but this would have been bizarre. Now, the pitch of this story was that the Doctor would walk onto the set of Most Haunted, and an actual ghost adventure would take place from the set of Most Haunted, and was slated to have the actual team from Most Haunted in it, including Derek Akora, which would have been... something. This was later dropped because it felt like it was too similar in tone to Unicorn and the Wasp, so... I guess it's a blessing in disguise, because this story, to me, would have been an absolute parody. And I don't think I'd have enjoyed it, to be honest, especially as a kid, because I hated Most Haunted. But I guess that speaks a lot about the Temp Doctor's era, that it was so high in the public eye and in pop culture, that another big show at the time, like Most Haunted, seemed interested in collaborating. The next story that I wish to talk about would have taken place around the time of Series 3 or Series 4, and was written by Mark Gatiss, with the prospective title being The Suicide Exhibition. Now already you have my attention with that title, but the story itself sounded quite interesting. The story would have evolved around World War II in London, specifically, where an operation to move precious art would have been tampered with, by the sounds of it, by a time meddler where original artefacts would show up in museums, which would have been very dangerous as museums could have been bombed at any time. We've known that Mark has always wanted to do a World War II story anyway, as he ended up doing Victory of the Daleks, so this would have been quite interesting to see all the way back in Series 4. Apparently Mark was promised that it might be part of the 2009 specials, but of course that didn't come into fruition. I can only imagine that this got dropped due to time constraints and then was just never revisited, which is sad, but he's gone on to make some good work since, so it's okay. The next episode I wish to talk about would have been written by Stephen Fry, of all people, who has now, of course, appeared in Doctor Who as C in, in Spyfall. This story would have been entitled 1920s, and this story would have revolved around Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, is a tale from the King Arthur era. Now, there are no specifics on how this would have played out, there's no specifics on why it's called the 1920s, if it's meant to be about a story from the 1400s, 1300s, sorry. But the reason it was not made was because Stephen Fry couldn't find the time during his other commitments to rework the script. Now, reading this, this is the most Stephen Fry thing I've ever heard, but 
God knows if it would have worked. I'd certainly been willing to try. And of all the stories we've heard so far, I think this is the closest to a really good episode that we missed out on. As I say, everything here is vague and probably didn't get very far in the planning stages because everything these days is commissioned like a year in advance, you know? It would have been a very long time to get down to work and make it better. Whereas what we're talking about here is stories that didn't really get off the ground. But that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed what I have been able to give you and you've learned something new. I certainly didn't know about the most haunted one, even though I remember there being a rumour a few years ago that this was the case, but it's been confirmed now. I hope to bring a sequel video to this where I can talk a bit more about maybe other New Who episodes that have gone under the radar. I don't know if that will be possible, but we will see what we can do about making a sequel. In any case, guys, have a wonderful day, stay subscribed, stay liking the videos, and be ready for the next episode.